Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you how to create a parallax effect in Acture 10. Actually you can do this with whatever version of Acture you have. So if you have the 9 or the 8 it's, it's okay. We can do the same thing. But first, as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and that's it. Let's get started. And here we are inside Acture. So actually what we have here is a template uh, that you can find if you want on my website. And um, what we have to do actually is to first uh, discover how I structure usually these uh, uh, images or hero banner to make this parallax effect to work. And after we will see how actually this uh, function works. So let's go first on Axure. So here, as you can see, uh, we are talking about this hero mask. So the hero mask, it's actually a dynamic panel. What this hero mask does, it's actually simple, it's a mask. So, and is where I usually put all the effects like for example, the drop shadow or for example, the rounded corner. And let's see in preview how it looks like. So if we go here, as you can see on the screen, so this uh, nice shadow and this uh, big uh, rounded corner are actually something it is on the dynamic panel that act as a mask. Let's go back inside Axure. And inside this mask, what we have is another dynamic panel, as you can see on screen, in which the image is bigger than actually the, the mask itself. Yes, because of course the image, you know, should move with the, the scroll of the page. So the mouse scroll. Actually, it's really simple what we have to do. Let's go on the canvas itself let's go on the interaction pane and as you can see here we have to use the window scrolled event and here i have a long list of other interaction that i uh, placed but are mainly for the um, the sticky header and let's add a new case let's leave it blank and put it as first so if true what we have to do is to move the background, the hero background, right? So let's move the hero background. Here we are. And the move is two. Two what? For the X, we have two possibilities. One is to leave it blank and it will not move. Or uh, we can put target dot x basically here what we are saying is take whatever the x point x value is take it and place it there so it means that uh it will never change right and again if we leave it blank it's exactly the same stuff for the uh epsilon we have to change this zero and actually what we have to do is to go in the window and scroll Epsilon, right? Because we have to scroll vertically on the uh, Epsilon axis, right? So if we have only this, the scroll will be equal to one, one on one. It means that the image will scroll with the scroll of the page. And basically it will not move in the sense that will be uh, static there, right? But if we want to move this image slower than the scroll of the page, we have to multiply this with a number that is less than one. If we multiply for 0 0.5, for example, it will be half of the speed. 
And in fact, if we do so and we click OK, we go on preview. Here you can see if I scroll, there is this nice parallax effect. So the image in big in background is uh, going down slower than the window scroll. And this is exactly what we want. Instead, if we put here a value that is bigger than one, for example, 1.5, then the image will go down faster than the window scroll, right? If you click OK and I, I click on preview, and now I start to scroll, as you can see, the, the image in background is going down faster and this is why we have this gap here that appears. And it's actually it. Whatever number is uh, lower than one will be slower. Whatever number is higher than one will be faster than the page scroll. And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. As usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.